So, Billy, uh, you you, uh, you had some good news uh, to report today, right? Yeah, we, um, you know, the the couple that um, believed the, the suspects until they're proven guilty were just apprehended minutes ago in Alabama. Uh, they left the parish with a stolen a dump truck and followed by a Jeep. And um, some of the stuff from my home was in the dump truck when it was recovered. Uh, they ditched the dump truck and were on the run. And I just got a call from the sheriff that they have been caught in Alabama and they plan on going to get them to bring them back to prosecute. Who are these people? Uh, Goal, uh, the, the woman is uh, Goldfeller uh, Darlene. Um, they sent me a copy of her driver's license. And um, the way I understand it, she's been arrested before for stealing a dump truck. So this isn't her first uh, arrest for, uh, for theft. And um, how did they come about your house? Uh, what's, your, what's your suspicion here? Well, thanks to your newscast yesterday, the, um, the, the person that had the truck stolen saw the artifacts you posted and saw those in the back of the truck. So he called the sheriff's office, but I believe several of the trucks that are working on the levees and on the LNG plant in Plaquemines are stationed in a vacant parking lot at home across from my house. So evidently they were casing it from that parking lot and were able to, uh, to see that nobody was at home. So I suspect that's what led them to go over there and break in. Uh, I, I guess you you are are happy ab about the the uh, arrest, but uh, it's probably not going to make a difference in terms of holding somebody uh, that, that's going to pay for your damage. But uh, I guess you're you're happy that that the mystery solved here. Who did it? Yeah, and I'm happy that they're caught, and hopefully we can put them away so they don't do this to someone else. You know, God forbid if there would have been kids in a home or or broke in in the middle of you know these people uh, that are compete uh, repeat offenders need to stay behind bars and um you know they've done this before and um they're wanted in three other states and parishes in pearl river and mississippi so this isn't their first time and um you know they need to they need to spend some time behind bars and do you know what they were doing in alabama or were they just on the run knowing that the word was out well the sheriff in st tammany uh first sent me their driver's license last night and um and, and Randy Smith said they were on their track. And, um, and so they were just apprehended. I just got a text that they caught him uh, in Alabama and they'll be uh, bringing him back here to uh, face prosecution. Great, great news, Billy. I appreciate it. Thanks for the well, thank update. You for your, thank you for your coverage. It was, uh, it, you know, we would have never tied it to the dump truck. It had not been for the report you did and showing those items that were missing. So thank you very much. So the, the person who owns the dump trucks actually saw them in the back of the dump truck? Is that Well, he had, he had gotten a dump truck when they abandoned it, and there was a white garbage can. It actually came out of my kitchen, and the pictures of that frame of duck stamps, he saw all the duck stamps and the liquor and things in that garbage can that we reported missing from the house. So uh, he knew something was up and called the sheriff's office and said, I think I know who broke in the house. They stole my dump truck. So I think that led to identifying who it was. And then they just had to track them down. And um, where was the dump truck recovered? Do you know? No, I don't know. I know the license plate reader had it leave Plaquemines Parish with a Jeep right behind it. And that's how they identified the two suspects together. Got it. Thank you, Billy. Take care. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir.